good afternoon. Thank you for coming. My name is Kathleen Moran. I'm the faculty member at American Studies, and I am going to introduce our, our panelists today. The name of the panel is called Missionaries, Queer Identity, Military Detention, and Urban Farms. And I challenge you to understand that there is a relationship between those. <laughs> it kind of goes from one to the other. Just think about it. Our, our brilliant uh, facilitator, Crystal, will explain to you later if it's too mysterious. <laughs> okay, so our, our first panelist is Frank No, and his topic is The Sacred and the Secular, Catholic Missionary Work in the Land of the Rising Sun. <laughs> she trains them well. <laughs> In Japan, I met a young businessman by the name of Mitsuhiro. In his late 20s, Mitsuhiro was a fairly young bachelor living at Seibu, an open stay center in Ashi, Japan. He told me about the time he was forced to come out Catholic at work. There was a company he used to work for had international clients. The company's business team had reached the clients to a trip to the city's Red Lantern district as a way to foster a relationship between the group. You know, these trips included going to risky hangouts, where the businessmen spoke to one another about future transactions while in the company of young women. Now, being a practicing Catholic, Mitsuhiro felt comfortable uh, participating in these kinds of activities, so he approached his team manager. He told the manager that he was Catholic and that he did not want to participate in these activities anymore, fully accepting any consequence that would, uh, that would entail and possibly be fired. Uh, the manager did not fire him, though, and let him abstain from having to participate in going to the Red, Lan Red Lantern districts uh, with the clients. Word quickly spread about Mr. Taylor's Catholicism, though, and soon the company began to refer to him as Paul, his confirmation name, as a lighthearted joke. After Mr. Taylor went Catholic, uh, a couple of other co workers revealed that they too were interested. Soon, the uh, company president revealed that he was also a practicing Catholic. Being openly religious in Japan often marks a person with the suspicion of being a cult member. A stigma formed by the historical development of religion, shukyo, as well as secular in the country. It was a quick statistic: 0.7% um, of Japan's population is Christian. That's roughly 896,000 people, and about half of that is Catholic. Labeled. So religion in Japan um, groups together communities such as Buddhist schools, uh, Shinto uh, Shinto sects, uh, Christian denominations, Islamic traditions, and things called uh, new religions or Shinshukyo, which may have little to do with one another, but all share some sort of abstract bond because they're all labeled religions. Now, understood as a private matter chosen by an, indiv an individual to believe, religion religion is seldom talked about outside of religious circles. Secularism is not a benign arbiter which allows the coexistence of religious and non-religious, but molds and regulates certain practices and beliefs on a specific type of subject under the state. So Japanese secularism is a political ideology which banishes practices which pose a threat to state power as well as a certain image of the Japanese public. My research uh, explores how the Japanese government defines and regulates religious institutions with an ethno, uh, ethnographic focus at Seido, an open state center in Ashia, with how they go about doing missionary activities. So crossing certain lines will get a religious group condemned as a cult by the populist and justify state intervention. Uh, while I find a surplus of literature on Asian religions, there is a dearth on the topic of secularism, which is quite surprising with countries, um, with countries such as China and Vietnam being so direct in reg regulating uh, religion. And so I hope to fill this intellectual gap with my research. So why was Mr. Peter admitting he was a Catholic such a big deal? By law, one has freedom of religion on the grounds of Article 20 of the Japanese Constitution. Um, but as I mentioned earlier, religion tends to group unlikely associated community, commun communities together uh, for the sake of being able to regulate their groups. So the social stigma attached with being openly religious really intensified after the sarin gas affair in 1995, um, initiated by a new religion of the name Omushin Rikyo, that is uh, insignia. So this group had set up and detonated sarin gas bombs in a Tokyo subway 
treating satanic and heavy aversion to any uh, one or group which took the religion seriously. And anyone who did take the religion seriously was uh, seen as a cult member, especially any follower of the Shinshi field. So this affair prompted the government to reevaluate all religious bodies in Japan, instigating the Religious Corporation Act, or Shukyo Kojin Ko. And for a religious institution to legally exist, it must now have some committee or a body which can function like a corporation, with a board of directors, an extensive inventory list, and a highly scrutinized uh, monetary record, on top of all other checks on what a proper religious institution would look like. Well, in order to avoid the legal and social drama, SEDA classified itself as a secular institution. While it is an open state center, uh, SEDO is the legal entity publicly known as an international language school in residence. Its inhabitants are comprised of numeraries and supernumeraries who are laymen, um, meaning they're not clergy, who express their faith in the type of professionals. The well, numerary is a single man or a woman who has a job and has fully devoted themselves to the state, meaning they will get financial aid to the center um, in exchange for food, housing, uh, community, as well as constant access to the sacraments. And a supernumerary is a man or a woman who intends to or already is married, um, but, they, but they're still affiliated with the state. So they don't necessarily provide financial aid to the center, though, because uh, they may have a family to support. So uh, there are also numeraries who choose to become priests, and these priests are then stationed at various of the state centers around the world. And at Sado, there are eight numeraries, uh, two or three more priests, uh, one supernumerary, and another Catholic resident but who is not part of the state. So the members um, are careful in treading the line between what is considered secularly appropriate and what is religious, because crossing these lines will have them marked as being involved in cultish activities. The stigma has led to some cognitive dissonance, as explained one, by one of the administrative staff at Seda's language school. He says that Japanese Catholics behave just like everyone else in Japan, which is problematic because they're supposed to be different. They're supposed to behave like Catholics. While he accepts the division of public and private in Japan, he also sees that it is a barrier in living what he calls an authentic Catholic life, if Catholics are indistinguishable from one another, I mean, from anyone else. So this begs the question of what it means to live an authentic Catholic life in Japan. First, I should uh, clarify that to say, though, geography doesn't matter um, in relation to the teachings of the church. And by the teachings of the church, I refer to the official church written in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, which in itself had a lot of drama in translating the Japanese. So Sato members often talk about a lack of missionary spirit when, um, when speaking about other Japanese Catholics. The regular parishioners show up to Mass on Sunday and they commune with one another, but they don't have an idea of uh, spreading the faith. The Sato is in contrast to the larger Catholic community in Japan, because while they too are uh, laity, they acknowledge the duty of bringing others uh, to the church, uh, although they go about that unconventionally, which I will get into a little later on. So another thing uh, Sato sees necessary to an authentic Catholic life is a prioritization of God. That is to say, the laity rarely prioritizes God. So according to Sato, uh, many children who are raised Catholic away from the faith, as school life becomes more intensive, substituting mass attendance on weekends for cram school or their youth group, and eventually phasing out the faith. So activities which promote or help cultivate an economically successful person are prioritized in Japan, while private, non-essential matters such as religion are theoretically left to the individual to take care of. So coupled with having no desire to spread Catholicism, Sato sees the church in Japan in a state of decline. Because the Japanese Catholics are not fully embracing their identity of being Catholic, which involves a missionary spirit, and instead pra practicing it within a private space. So uh, Japanese secularism creates a tension between living in a certain Japanese public, which demands a particular conduct, and living a certain Catholic life, which often runs contrary to what the expected behavior of how a modern Japanese should act. It looks as though Sato members divide themselves as, uh, as religious practitioners along the privacy of their homes while adopting a secular work ethic while in the public sphere. Otherwise, they're condemned as cult members. So the members uh, work 
separates out these two expectations by leading some of their religious life into their, um, their work life through the Copistic concept of uh, sanctification of everyday work. So while maintaining a secular facade, Sato members turn their daily secular work into moments of religious devotion, which lessens the distance they are expected to maintain in their public lives from their religious ones. So because Japanese secularism defines religion as a private affiliation, Sato uh, conversion and proselytizing activities actually avoid religious motives. Proselytization is not an activity Sato says is engaging in, and one that I would not use to describe their efforts to convert. But instead of proselytize, they use the word apostle referring to the Acts of the Apostles. Having an understanding that religion is a private matter, apostle work comes in the form of building and strengthening friendships. So apostle work is not just for non-Catholics, but also for Catholics and other members of the state as well. Um, instead of directly engaging anyone in talks of theology or philosophy, Sato members generally go about their conversations without any concrete agenda of pursuing the other party to become Catholic or to become a better Instead, they talk about matters such as the World Cup, how the kids days are going, uh, how the gardening is, um, and matters like that. There are occasions when a non Catholic or a Catholic is interested in a Catholic topic, which then prompts a religious conversation. But even then, the end goal of the conversation is not to uh, convince the other party that they need to be a better Catholic or that they need to be Catholic, but rather, in their words, to share the love and joy of Christ. So, public engagements are considered ill-effective and oftentimes uncharitable, damaging one's own character more than helping the other one uh, grow closer to God. Therefore, friendships as a space to share personal details, such as religion, occur. So, because religion in Japan groups together uh, organizations which are perceived as public threats with other groups that aren't perceived as public threats, all religious groups which blur public and private divisions could be seen as a cult in disguise. This stigma has translated to different approaches in how Sato members present themselves at work and how they attempt to spread Catholicism. My question involving the government understanding and regulating religious institutions as a large endeavor, and my own work only provided a small slice of the multitude of stories involving religion in Japan. While I focused on the Sato of the State Center, the rest of the Catholic Church in Japan um, operates on entirely different grounds. Um, further research will have to explore other religious groups, Catholic or not, in order to get a more complete sense of what is going on in Japan in terms of the second. Questions? So he wasn't fired, he just kind of got treated a little bit differently at work. Um, do you have any other examples, or did you find any other evidence that like that was the norm for how people were treated once they, uh, when their religious status was known, or was it more extreme in a lot of cases? So I had a friend in Tokyo, and he went to uh, Waseda University. So he was he was an, another missionary, um, so he, he pronounced himself as Christian. And when he was talking to the students there, he said, oh, um, would you like to learn about Christianity? Would you like to read the Bible? And all, most of the students there were very reserved. They said, are, are you part of a cult? I'm, I'm a poor college student. I don't have any money. Because most of the, <laughs> most of the, the cults, um, or at least many of those cults, are seen as money-making machines. So they, they lure people in, and then they say, oh, it's okay, it's a bunch of money. seems like what you're, you're really looking at is the issue of the secular and how Japan has become an incredibly secular country, yes, any kind of modern country often is, and 
coming out as religious seems um, dangerous in terms of the cult issue. Is there, is it seen as dangerous also as a terrorist issue? That's what you're talking about, the bombs and all that? Right, so what I was thinking at, uh, <laughs> when, when I was putting religion in place a couple of times, um, is that because of the development of the term religion, um, and because it groups together all of these different groups, um, when, when a new religion, such as Homu Shirikyu, it's publicly religious, and then they do something like bomb the Tokyo subway. Uh, most of the Japanese public would know very little about the concept of religion. Uh, see, okay, well, religions do this, and they're only exposure to 